Like horrible, not the eggs. That's the end of that. Yeah. <laughs> weren't particularly arty. I didn't study art at school, I didn't go to art college. I had a vague interest in art. I think I had, I think my interest in art was more how people do it, why they do it and how they turn their art into money. And I was always into people that forged art as well. I found that to be really interesting like people that make money out of forging art and people that are fooled by forgeries you know that just always really fascinated me and interested me so I suppose for a while I wanted to be an art forger and then I've discovered graffiti and that put my art forging career on hold <laughs> and I became a vandal <laughs> which was a lot more fun <laughs> I suppose it started when I was about 14. Uh, I got into graffiti. I discovered a book called Subway Art and it kind of changed the course of my life. Well, not kind of, it did. It just completely changed the course of my life. Yeah, I got into graffiti and it became my passion and the thing that I lived for and consumed every waking and sleeping moment of my life and took me all over the world, painting trains, tagging things, meeting other graffiti writers, forming friendships that, yeah, that still last today. After doing graffiti for about 25 years, I uh, got into this thing that's now called street art. The reason why I'm up in sunny old Carlisle, city of the lakes, is uh, a few years ago, I met this guy who we all call Ben North. He's Ben Hislop, isn't it? I think his name is. <laughs> And uh, yeah, he runs this gallery called Landmark Street Art. And uh, I met Ben and he seemed like a very nice and enthusiastic and passionate young man. You know, he's had this dream about bringing some artists up to Carlisle and, you know, getting a bit of a scene and a movement going up here and working with a few other artists and trying to get the local community involved and, you know, generally make Carlisle a happier and brighter place. And I know it sounds corny and naff, but 
it's it's actually true you know i travel all over the world painting stuff and i'm a passionate believer that a splash of color is a lot better than a plain boring wall and whether you like that special color or not it's kind of irrelevant it's just more interesting than a plain boring wall Mark Street up for three years now. There isn't, or wasn't really, um, any kind of graffiti street culture or public art up in Carlisle. And it seemed a little bit bizarre that we went to all these places doing all these shows, working with all these artists, and there was nothing where we were based. So um, we decided to change that one wall at a time, really. I think people aren't used to seeing it, which means it has a really powerful effect down in sort of London, Manchester, Newcastle, Glasgow, there's a really strong culture of it and people will see it a lot more frequently. Here you have, I mean, any public art which is seen somewhere different outside of a gallery or an internal setting, I think has a different impact and people interact with it differently. But especially when there isn't a precedence and people won't have seen it much before, I think it really makes people stop and think. The thing about street art is, you know, you walk into work, you do the same route every day and then one morning, some cheeky little man's painted a rat with a placard that says, because I'm worthless. And you look at it and, you know, it's not the best piece of art in the world, but you look at it and you're like, oh, that's kind of cool. And you may take a photograph of it and whack it on Instagram. And then, you know, a week later, the council have painted over it and it's gone. And you're like, oh, that's a shame. You know, it's just, it's just a little feeling, a little kind of, a little bit of happiness. I've been an artist for about 25 years, but I started showing in a gallery in Shoreditch alongside a lot of like sort of big names in sort of street art and graffiti at that time. We were all kind of doing work together and hanging out. So I started showing there and then kind of slowly progressed on and off. I ended up working for other artists. I was lucky enough to be friends with people that ran the Dragon Bar in Shoreditch and they let me have a free studio space on the top floor and there was lots of people working around at that time. Friends with like Banksy and obviously at the time I was with Ben Ein and so we just were hanging out with all that crowd and it was really like a fun playground of creativity and in a studio I got a job working for Damien Hurst so I worked in that studio for a long time that was really fun so this is now my second piece directly like on a wall so it's really exciting
public art and street art is instantly as soon as we stick something up the whole city when they're going about their daily business can kind of see it. We don't want everyone to like everything but the fact that they've seen it and formed an opinion on it that's the main thing. I think it's great what Landmark Street Art are doing here um, bringing people up to bring some new street art to the city and hopefully the outer areas. I'm sure there'll be more things like this coming and get some other artists up here too. I think Ben is going to carry on doing what he's doing and every time he gets a wall to paint and he gets an artist to come up here Hopefully he'll get another couple of walls and another couple of artists and it'll just keep on growing and keep on expanding. And, you know, there's so many cities around the world now that recognise the value in street art and are actively encouraging it and putting on festivals and events. They see the value in it and they see it as part of a, you know, a rejuvenation process for, you know, potentially run down places and this is going on all over the world so I think you know it takes someone with Ben's passion to kickstart this and then hopefully the council will get involved and it'll just keep on growing. To find out what's happening next or what we've got going on um, best is to head over to Instagram and follow us at Landmark Street Art. Uh, that's where we post most of our stories and uh, show what we have done and sometimes some teasers as to what's coming up. I've got a website, but I don't really update it. I'm sure somebody does. Uh, but yeah, Instagram, Ben Ein or Ein Signs, and you can find me. There's lots of videos and pictures and noteworthy stories, I'm sure. <laughs> My website is Lucy Flynn Studio, and um, also Instagram I use a lot. Um, I find it brilliant, especially from where, where I live, so it's lucy.flynn. Uh, it's my Instagram.